Hi there, I go by the name of the Celtic Storyteller and in this video I'm going to share with you a second round of 2021 world predictions. I have been interested in doing further predictions but I did want to wait until I felt the time was right and I had a relevant question. Well there has been one question or at least one situation that has been developing that I wanted to explore through tarot and that's what I'm going to do today. So as you may know, I'm an intuitive reader. I don't call myself a psychic, yet I do enjoy doing an exercise like this that calls on a deeper level of intuition. The way that I found that works for me is to meditate, to clear my mind, and then I set the intention to tap into my intuition and into the universal energy that may hold information about the situation and what might unfold around it. I am open to receiving information that is important to put out into the world and I keep my mind open to invite this information in from safe sources in a safe way. As a writer, I have found it is best to do this in quiet and solitude and then I write down what comes to me. That's why the cards you see are already out on the table. However, this time I did set up my phone so I would at least be able to show you the cards being drawn and I will add little clips of that as I go along. I should note that I did these on the 8th of May, but I haven't actually had a chance to record this until now. Um, it's Sunday the 23rd of May. Um, this time lag won't make any difference though because um, the questions are still very relevant. Now, as before, I asked three questions and I drew three tarot cards for each question. Then I allowed my pen and my thoughts to flow as I wrote down the predictions. I wrote what came to me and I didn't think too much about what the normal card interpretations might be or my own opinions. This time I found the words that came out were more concise, but the thoughts and feelings around them were just too lengthy to write there and then. So straight afterwards I finished, I typed up a further explanation from my notes while it was still all fresh in my mind. Now I've done my best as before to keep any of my own biases out of these predictions and to leave them open to interpretation where that might be needed. I'll give you a little sum up of what I think about them at the end of each. Now today's three questions are all related to COVID-19 as this is the main show in town, isn't it? The questions I asked last time were about the planet and what was going to affect people's lives. I do think they are still in play at the moment and I think we'll probably hear more about the planet later on in the year, hopefully. And honestly, I hadn't the heart to ask about a follow-up from the world financial situation question. I do think we'll probably suffer the consequences of debt and it is going to show itself in many ways. So COVID-19 vaccines are here and many people are quite happy about this. I do think life has been very tough for people, some more than others, and I do want to say now that I realise COVID-19 and vaccines can be a very upsetting topic, especially if you have been left bereaved, and I do deeply sympathise with you if this is the case. I also want to acknowledge and thank anybody who is working to help humanity out of this crisis, and I know there's many people who are doing that. My intention here is just to dig for answers. I want to remain as unbiased as possible about what comes out. So let's get started. The next big thing with COVID-19 is the vaccine passports or a vaccine preference, you might call it. We have been daily fed information about the number of people who have taken the vaccines and what those people might be allowed to do after they have taken it. So this begs the question, what if you don't take the vaccine? Now, since I wrote the predictions, there is more talk of a vaccine passport or a vaccine certificate in Europe. So I think that's almost here now. But honestly, we all knew this was coming. I don't think you had to be a psychic to know that. And it won't affect these predictions as I wrote them a couple of weeks ago. So question one, what will happen around people's decision to either take the vaccination or not take it? So let's go straight into question one. I'll just move these piles out of the way. That's two and that's three. Okay, so question one is, what will happen around people's decision to either take the vaccination or not take it? Now I'll go in through what I wrote by hand and then my further descriptions of the thoughts and feelings around that. And then I'll just give you a very quick sum up of what I think about this prediction at the end. So I got the emperor, the high priestess, and the Four of Pentacles. The Emperor. Here I am again. Compliance. Do as I say. I know best. I have everyone's interest at heart. I look at the big picture. I stand firm. I am ready to enforce my will for the good of those I protect. Rules. Risk. You risk everyone's livelihood and health if you do not comply. The High Priestess. Shh, don't tell anyone. It's your secret to keep. Hide your feelings, hide your thoughts, for they will be misinterpreted, misunderstood. 
How can you even understand them yourself? Aren't you a little confused? Look deep within you. You don't need to know the future to make a decision. You don't need all the facts to follow your intuition. Don't say why. Protect your essence. There are laws to protect your silence. The Four of Pentacles. Stalemate, not budging. Each protects their own. No need to share, no need to care. Four, two, four equals to ten. One zero, binary code, ones and zeros. More information sought, more information to hide. Can't move forward, can't move back. So that's the text of the first prediction and I'll just explain what I understood by it. Now, if you saw my last predictions, you'll see the emperor made an appearance before as well. This time it felt very much about compliance. My question is about people's decisions to take the vaccine, but the emperor appears with an attitude of expecting everyone to take it, no questions asked. That force and expectation of doing the right thing leaves little room for debate. The high priestess felt like she was letting us in on a little secret. Hey, you know, you don't need to tell people what you decide to do. And this is true. I think you can choose not to tell anyone if you do or don't take the vaccine. Uh, your medical information is private. But of course, this is not going to work for everyone. She is also highlighting uncertainty, possibly guilt and the unknown. For instance, you may feel anxious about taking the vaccine, but really want to be protected from COVID. You may be worried you won't get the vaccine soon enough if you're at risk and your family are at risk. Or you may be anxious about taking the vaccine because they're still in trial and approved for emergency use only. And I think they still are. I'll just I'll get a, um, a quote or a, snip, a snapshot from the CDC website here. And for each of these situations, it can be difficult to express your feelings to someone who is having a different experience. It may be easier to remain silent. You may feel safer remaining silent about whatever decision you, you, you take on the vaccines. However, this is where it leads to a stalemate. These complete opposite sides, uh, you know, when I've, I wrote more information sought, that would be situations where your workplace require you to say if you have a vaccination or require you to take the vaccination if you're dealing directly with the public uh, or the information that's required to register for the vaccine and more information to hide. This would be situations where you feel uncomfortable having conversations about whether you're taking the vaccine or not and why. So if you feel you want this to be a private decision, just take heart in the fact that the high priestess trumps the emperor. She is the guardian of the sub sorry, she's the guardian of the subconscious mind. She is the divine feminine and reminds us that some things are spoken and some things are implied. You are allowed to hide what you don't wish to speak about. It is possible to have a bad feeling about taking the vaccine but not be able to express it clearly to others or even to yourself. Okay, now before, that's kind of the end of that prediction. So before I give you my thoughts, I should probably throw in a disclaimer here, seeing as I'm talking about a health issue. I don't usually read for health matters and this reading should be taken as entertainment only. You alone are responsible for your own choices and decisions and my readings are in no way intended to replace medical, legal or professional advice. Okay, now that disclaimer is out of the way, um, I can tell you what I think about this. I thought the prediction was very on point, but I was almost disappointed because I wanted to know more. And I do ask more in the next question. But it did also reflect the scarier side of what's going on. The fact that taking the vaccine is nearly always only talked about as if it was something that everybody should do and will do. And any discussions or debates about the vaccine are not regularly shown on the media. Therefore, anyone who would like more information about the vaccine or dares to doubt its use or safety may be at risk of being misrepresented or misjudged. Okay, now I'll dive right into the second question because it digs a little deeper. Okay, let's dive right into the second question. And actually, I need one card from the last pile because it was drawn twice. So the second question is, how will those who decide not to take the vaccine be treated? What can they expect? And I drew the Four of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so again, I'll just, I'll, I'll go through what I wrote first. The Four of Pentacles, selfish and stubborn, greedy, uncompromising, looking out for yourself, if you don't take the vaccine, you are suiting yourself and are not considering your community. King of Wands. Desire, involvement, success. 
those wanting you to take the vaccine will appeal to your desires to live as you want to. So your creative freedoms will be tied to having taken the vaccine. Kings, queens are in control, mature. They will appeal to your sense of responsibility, duty and avenues for success in your career. King of Pentacles, very similar energy, but around your finances, financial incentives. My business needs to thrive. My business ensures your comforts. Swords and hearts are missing. I don't need to tell you anymore. I don't need to understand your point of view. You can have what you want. You can do what you want if you do as they say. Pressure from your boss, pressure on your finances. Okay, so this really did flow on from the first question with the same card the other one ended with. It shows the pressure that will be applied to move those who don't want the vaccine out of this stagnant energy. Fours are about stability, but too much of this can be seen as stagnation. That's why the fives and tower are all conflict and change type cards. In this case, we have all masculine cards, which in tarot represents a more dominant authoritative energy. You might be standing your ground, but the, th the kings in tarot are wise and lead with this more outward display of power. So overall, if you're not taking the vaccine, expect to be pushed and manipulated, expect clever arguments and some financial leverage may be applied. Expect your strong stance to be interpreted as being selfish or stubborn. I say this because when you get a number of cards in reading like the Kings here, you note what suits are missing. The cups and swords are missing. Cups represent emotions and feelings. Swords rep represent intellect, rationality, and sometimes the truth. That is what is missing. So that's the end of that second reading. And again, I personally agreed with what was coming out and I did feel like, again, I was picking up on energy around the situation that was already occurring. I will probably show just some clips of articles here to show you what I mean. There's also talk on the radio um, the other day about how far an employer can go to remove a person if they don't take the vaccine with the agreement that they could redeploy if there was a case and a question around if and when an employer could dismiss an employee who doesn't take the vaccine. For now, I have checked and I don't think you need to tell your employer if you have taken the vaccine. So that's just some background information around, you know, this particular one. Now, if you remember in the first question, we got the high priestess. And I think personally, if you're someone who chooses not to take the vaccine, your experience around that will depend on your own group of friends and family and where you work. On a bigger scale, however, so in the macro environment, there doesn't seem to be much leeway to disagree with the majority thinking on vaccines. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I was still chomping at the bit to know a bit more. I had decided when I started this that I would only ask two questions, uh, but because I didn't want to spend forever talking about, you know, COVID-19 vaccines and passports. However, those answers just showed, I think, what we're in right now and what's playing out um, and is yet to play out but I want to know how it's going to end. So my final question is, is there an end to this and what would it look like? Sorry, that was my extra card. This is my ending cards. So the question is, is there an end to this and what would it look like? And I drew the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. The Seven of Swords. Suddenly the pressure abates when it is least expected and without too much fanfare. Like a thief in the night, did they see me? Did they notice? Knowledge about many of the vaccines will not make it into our field of information. We won't have access to all of the results from the trials, but yes, we will learn some things. We will be left with some truths and we will be left with a couple of vaccines that work the best on those that require them. So much will have been discovered about how new vaccines work but we won't be given this, we won't be given all of this information. There is value in all of this. The owners of the vaccines will walk away th with the majority of the information and they will be secretive, but we will benefit in the long run in some ways. Knowledge is always valuable. Queen of Cups. With mature insights, compassion and understanding, which will come, universal healing and the gap left behind by the retreating vaccine pressure will leave space for love, nurturing. Those in need will be attended to. Rifts will be forgiven. If you felt oceans apart from family, friends, co-workers, they will offer the hand of friendship. You will offer support and forgiveness to each other. Eight of Wands. 
And just like that, passions can be unleashed. Unbridled desire, unlimited, uncensored freedom. As a follow-on from the knowledge gained, what comes out in the wash? It opens up the floodgates. Travel. There is freedom and movement again and different views are not so contentious. This is released because of an inspirational revelation. We are both right in our own ways. Moving quickly along, least we dwell too long on painful mistakes, careless words, misdirected emotions, washed clean. So for this last prediction, um, although a bit jumbled in places I felt, I just got the sense that when it ends, it will end with much less media hype than when it started. Those that push the vaccine or profited from it will just like slink off without fuss. Their message to us will change subtly and there may be a distraction that allows, that allows this to happen without too many people noticing it or it being reported on. The vaccines won't disappear, but what we are left with will be solid. Uh, they could stand over it and we'll have the evidence to back up why they work. It may be that it's no longer a whole population vaccine push, just those that really do benefit the most from it. And we will know a lot more which can benefit medical research, but not even half as much as the vaccine owners have learned. Of course, as we already know, the vaccine producers cannot be sued if there are any issues. So yes, if there are issues that come to light, they will get away scot-free. But the next two cards had a really loving, vibrant energy. I had the sense of all is forgiven when it comes to people and the stress of the virus and the differences in vaccine opinions is going to be accepted, understood, and we will move along quickly. Once we feel we were over the crisis, there will be a little madness, but all in good fun. Hugs, love, passion, travel will all be experienced again. I did feel strongly about the washed clean and inspirational revelation words that had come out. So is this an indication of the way we all feel safe getting close? Is it a technology that keeps us clean and infection free when we get close to another? Now, wouldn't that be great? Okay, so as that's the end of the last question, I couldn't help myself and I asked when this would happen. Now, do keep in mind, I don't usually predict timings because I believe every day, every decision can change an outcome. And also, I just don't think I'm any good at timing because I do believe in trying to make our own future. So timings are not something that I do very often when doing tarot. So I asked when this will happen, when this last question, outcome, ending will happen. And I drew okay, the three of wands. So when you're using tarot cards as counting, uh, time, wands are days or springtime. So as I don't think it's going to be three days, um, let's say next spring, because we're already past spring for this year. Uh, we just passed Bialtana, so the beginning of summer 2024 would be the when this is going to happen, when this is going to end. So how realistic do I think this timeline is? Well, if you imagine the combination of vaccines, natural immunity, immunity from being infected, and the usual timeline of pandemic being about 12 to 18 months, you could see that, it, uh, that an end should be in sight, and while not this summer, as the lockdowns may have slowed the natural course of the pandemic, then maybe next summer might have been a possibility. But then if you take into account the variants and the fact that profits are made by pushing vaccines on every age group from young to old as well, the vulnerable and the healthy and the idea which has already been talked about of a yearly top up to protect from variants. If all that happens, does that mean we'll never see the end of the vaccinations? Well, this is where I thought about the Seven of Swords card that came out. So I think when this ends, it'll almost be like a non-event. Uh, we will be distracted with maybe international travel and hugs and the pressure to vaccinate will just dwindle without the majority of people paying too much attention. Now, there'll still be a steady supply of people who want to get yearly vaccinations and those with health conditions who do, whose doctors recommend they get vaccinated. But the rest of the population may be left alone. So the majority of the population will have been vaccinated anyway. And if you absolutely don't want to get the vaccine, then maybe you just have to stick it out. Of course, that may mean that you can't travel or do much in the meantime, because we, we are seeing vaccine passports and vaccine preference. Okay, so that is it for my 2021 uh, extra predictions. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. Now, like last time, I'd really be fascinated to hear your opinions. So do please comment below. Um, I'm completely open to hearing any other interpretations of these cards. So if you feel something is coming to mind when you watch this, do say so. So do keep in mind my disclaimer at the start. I don't call myself a psychic and I have openly shared how I came to write these predictions. 
I will be eagerly seeing if they come to pass myself though. And of course, as these predictions are around a health matter, do please note that any and all decisions you make, including ones around your health and taking the vaccine are yours to make. And this reading is really not meant to influence anybody. Okay, so that's it. I'm wishing you and your loved ones peace and good health. Thanks for listening. So Sloan Gafol, which is bye for now in Irish. And I'm wishing you all the best. What do you do when you know you've missed out on the future you were meant to have? When every day is a trial, every task a poor reflection of the truth you wished you were living? You get on with it. I waited, and with the first breath of possibility, I jumped, sink or swim. <laughs>